Hi, welcome back to CS170, Fall 2021. Uh, so I've just pulled up the resources uh, for this week. This is for week 10 uh, in your modules, which is over here. All right, so you can see modules, you can get there from our usual place here. Um, so you can see Lao sections, and then I've set up the modules here, or you can just click on the modules on your left-hand side for Canvas, right? So within the modules, of course, you have something for every week. Uh, let's come down here to week 10. You can see your resources, a couple of little different things here um, for the average function, max if is function, uh, VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP is important. Make sure you look at this, but all of these are important actually. Um, so if I looked at the resources, you can see one of the main things here, explain the use of the wildcard in formulas, right? So for example, we have the count if, and basically over this range, G9 to G13, you're looking for anything that starts off with this lowercase d, uh, and then this star means wildcard, right? So it could be, like dog or whatever, right? Um, so you'll be looking for anything that starts with a letter D within this range of G9 to G13, okay? Um, actually, you know what, while I'm here, why don't I demonstrate that, All right? So let's see, where's the G9 to G13, which is right here, okay? So let's say dog, um, and was that G thirteen? Mm. Okay. Um, so we do it equals count if. So there's the count if here. And we're going to go over this range, G9 to G13. And then we're going to do equals to D star, star being the wild card that we're trying to demonstrate here. This is under criteria. You can see criteria we're looking at here. So what does this do? It's telling us all the counts for anything within that range that starts off with a D. We get three, so one, two, and three. Okay, so that's the wild card there. So that's a demonstration of that. Hopefully you can follow that. So basically here is from the lecture. This is what it looks like, uh, wild card represented by this asterisk here. It's often used in searches, okay? And so you're looking for things, just like if you've looked in other classes for what a wild card does, right? Looking for similar items, right? And this will actually be one of the things that you'll need to do for your, uh, for your assignment. Okay, you're not the current Excel assignment, the next one after that. And so take a look at this part right here where it has the wildcard usage. So it does a count diff for this range and then for anything that starts off with Vine. Okay, um, but basically I just demonstrated that here. Okay, with this count diff here. Okay, so hopefully it gives you an idea about using wildcards basically you're just searching a string uh, with that. You might have seen it on your local file system if you're doing some searches for files uh, with the asterisk, let's say from a command prompt or something like that, okay? Many of you probably not have done that, but uh, for some of you, you might have done that. That's a very similar concept, okay? Um, actually, in the interest of chopping up these lectures, I'm going to, uh, stop here and just call this the wildcard lecture. Uh, and then the next lecture, we'll pick up with the VLOOKUP. 
Okay. 